we can't go to the universe, it's too far away. And so what we do here is in a variety of different ways through the application of advanced technology to bring the universe to us and to be able to answer the kinds of questions that people want to ask. So mirrors have been made in uh, New York by Corning Glass and in Germany. Uh, but those uh, factories don't exist anymore. So this is the only place in the world that makes these very large glass mirrors. Soon after I got here, uh, the university got together this new telescope, the Multiple Mirror Telescope, and it became clear that we could use that as a model to make still bigger telescopes. We developed a method to make the mirrors, and then we built this big lab to make the very big ones. When we started, you know, this was a parking lot under the new football stadium. On our mirrors, we actually remove a thousand to two thousand pounds worth of glass off of each surface, the back surface and the top surface, just to get it to the shape we want. Okay, and we do that accurate to about a thousandth of an inch. So that's about the th seven times thinner than a thick human hair, uh, or equivalently about one fourth the thickness of a sheet of paper. And so there's a lot of complexities that go into that. Uh, from the starting off with the chunks of glass and casting that and melting it down into one mirror to machining it away with diamond tools to grinding and polishing it to testing it with laser beams and then create this product that goes out and discovers new things about the universe. The accuracy that you see in these mirrors is just like Hubble, if not in some cases better, um, but it's quite a bit larger. Honeycomb structures had been used for a long time in mirrors in space, really to make them light and stiff. And in the multiple mirror telescope, we used surplus space mirrors. So they were honeycomb mirrors. And they turned out to work very well, much better than solid mirrors, not because they were lightweight, but because they, wouldn't, they didn't store heat. So they didn't generate the kind of shimmering that you see from a hot surface. You know, the Hubble telescope mirror is 2.4 meters, which is about eight feet across. And the mirrors you're looking at here are 26 feet across, right? So we had to develop the technology to make very big honeycomb structures. It's exploration, right? It's building machines to take you further and further out into space and further and further back in time uh, to find, you know, the multiplicity of things that are out there, the weird stuff, the grand vistas, everything.